So hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel if it's your first time here welcome my name is Gary aka the plastic boy what's going on I'm super excited to do today's video obviously but before we continue if you guys want to click somewhere down here I don't know the subscribe buttons down there it would mean the world to me if you click that and obviously click the bell because YouTube loves to move in mysterious ways just so you're notified every time I upload a new video obviously today's video is super exciting it's another concealer review but I feel like I don't really do that much reviews anymore just because obviously it's the start of the year and products are still obviously being seeded to us so whatever so long and behold it is the new Pat McGrath concealer which I have here period 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 poo so I received these like maybe I want to say five days ago maybe four days ago and i've actually been wearing them for the past three days i was actually gonna um test how the concealer wears but i've actually worn it a few times now to actually know how it wears i just wanted to show you guys the shades obviously for reference and obviously how it applies and blah 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 i know there's a few reviews out there at the moment on the concealer but you know i thought i'd give you my perspective or whatever so if you guys want to hear what i think about the concealer keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so this is the concealer here. Um, Pat sent me five shades. I'm actually loving the shades she sent me because normally when brands send out concealers, it's normally like, they're just, they're just too close to my skin tone or not light enough because you guys know I love a bright under eye or there's not a contour shade, but she's actually sent me a various shades of concealer tones. So I'm actually excited about that. I'm gonna read you a little something, something before I swatch them. So this is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. It actually retails for 25 pounds. I've got all the powders here and the brushes as well. So um, well, let me just read what the review says. It says, Mother's first ever concealer makes every flawless face fantasy come true, delivering full coverage with a natural radiant matte finish in 36 universal color shade choices that seamlessly complement her um, foundation. Okay, that's cute. So it's supposed to be like a radiant matte kind of finish. I actually didn't think it was that, but okay, let's move. Um, okay, so I'm gonna swatch all the shades for you, but and now reading the website, I get what MD means. So when, it, when it said MD, I was like, huh? And it, but it actually means medium deep. So I'm gonna swatch the shades for you. So I've got medium deep 22. I'm gonna swatch that there. That's medium deep. So this on me is kind of reading very kind of like golden-ish. It's kind of reminding me of like, it's very close to like NC35, NC40. It's giving me kind of that war, like warm goldenness. And I love the kind of applicator. And what I love about this is that you probably don't have to like double dip as much. And it's kind of very flexible. And also, the glass, which kind of back with me because when I dropped them on my desk the other day, I was like, oh my God, they're actually glass. And I know, I don't think a lot of concealers are glass these days, are they? I just don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. This is medium deep 25. This is in a medium deep category. So this is a bit more reddish. It's kind of got like a warm undertone to it. So if you can see, it's giving me that kind of like, I don't know. I feel like this has got a bit more red and it's a bit more warm to me. But um, that's quite a nice shade as well. I could literally use every single shade to like kind of like on my skin tone. And the next shade is medium deep 26. Six. So this one runs, it looks a bit more golden to me. Very similar to NC45, if you can see. As you can see, they're quite full coverage because they're literally going over my tattoo. The next one is Medium Deep 27, which I think I am in her foundation or her 28. I can't remember. So this is Medium Deep 27, which I think I am in her foundation. That kind of could go on my skin tone, which is really, really nice. They're all kind of similar. There's not like many big jumps. So I'd be interested to see the darker shades and I've got deep 29, which is more the deep category. So I'm gonna swatch this. I actually think this would probably be my perfect skin tone shade actually. So that's deep 29 there. So I'm literally looking in the monitor. As you can see, it's kind of like a really nice shade range with no jumps and they're very similar to her foundation. So another thing that came is her um, Skin Fetish Sublime Blurring Under Eye Powders. I actually have the light one, but it's probably in my storage room because I wouldn't use it because it's so light. So this is medium. 
packaging's really really nice this is supposed to be for under the eye and i also have um deep i actually watched um so that's deep there when you see it, you're like oh my god it looks so light but i've actually worn this and i'll show you in the video what it looks like but it looks quite scary but when you apply it's actually super super fine i've actually watched um too much mouse review on the concealer and she obviously said as well that the powder does look light but it doesn't come out ashy as hell i really love the packaging it's very pat mcgrath very minimal very cute and it also came with this brush, I think this brush is to apply the concealer. As you can see, it's very just slanting it. It's really good for like getting right in the corner. Um, let me see how much. So the powder is £23 and the brush is £25, which the brush I think is kind of expensive. And I feel like a lot of people use beauty blenders these days, so you don't have to get the brush. It's not necessary, it's not like a necessity. So let's get on to using the concealer because that's the most exciting bit. I always forget how beautiful this foundation is. So I literally just Put on the Pat McGrath um, foundation in it, medium deep 27. This is like my perfect shade. Um, even though it's medium deep, I don't know. I wouldn't describe it as medium deep. I'd describe it as deep, but it, it's such a nice undertone. I've used 32, but 32 runs a bit red, you know. Um, I'm trying to think what concealer shade to use. I think I'm going to use two for you. Um, I'm going to use 29. I don't think I have 27. Oops. Do I have to get yeah, 27? But I might use 29. I'm going to use 29 just to like spot conceal. I've got this little bish here that pulled up over the weekend and she was just moving so mad. So I'm literally going to just apply this here and then I'm going to apply some under my eyes just as a corrective first That's because I didn't use any of my normal lip tinted corrector. And I just feel like, you know, this concealer just has a moment it's actually really nice and creamy um i'm trying to think how long i've been wearing this now i've been wearing it for like maybe three days i went out with it on i think it was when no it was thursday i received it on thursday wore it on thursday wore it on friday and i wore it yesterday so um it is a really really nice concealer i think it might be in my top five concealers now because you guys know i ride or died for the two-faced um Born This Way Concealer, but I think this concealer is just as nice. Um, it definitely is a bit more matte than um, the Born This Way one because I feel like the Born This Way one, you have to like kind of like wait for it to dry because it is very hydrating, but this one is so nice. See, 27 is kind of like, it actually matches the foundation. It's so, so nice. But obviously you guys know I love like more of a bright eye concealer. So I might go in with something else just to brighten up the eye. And obviously I'm going to show you the concealer with the brush on one side and the concealer with beauty blender on the other side. I'm literally gonna apply the concealer shade in um, medium deep 22 because a bish wants her under eye to look bright because I'm hella tired and I just like that bright under eye look. So I'm gonna take the applicator here and then I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. It is super full coverage and it's very silky on the skin. Is it, hold on, let me smell it. I've got, I've got such a weird I've got such a weird um, thing about smelling concealers. Like the Too Faced Born This One Way has a particular smell. It doesn't smell bad, but it just has a particular smell. So I'm just gonna layer it like that. It does dry because before I went out on Thursday, I literally tried to let it sit and I had like, I didn't have trouble blending it, but I just knew it wasn't that concealer where for Too Faced one, I'd normally leave it for about maybe a minute, but this one, you could leave it for like a minute, but you'd probably have to like use a setting spray to Kind of zhuzh it up again just so it blended out, but I'm just gonna take it along here. But this concealer is very beautiful. I think I prefer, I actually love the foundation, but I kind of wish the foundation was kind of the same formula as the concealer because the foundation's more um, lightweight and kind of like face and body vibes, but better. But if, if Pat McGrath released the foundation in more of a matte formula and full coverage, honestly. But I feel like it wouldn't have the same finish. Her foundation has a very beautiful formula to it. So, you know, so that's it on. Period. Okay, so we're going to use a brush to blend out one side. I think I've used too much. So we're going to use that. Okay, it's already started to dry down. I can feel it. So I'm using the brush. I actually haven't used the brush in real life. So this is the first time I'm using the brush in like the video, but I feel like the brush is nice. I feel like the brush is nice if you're kind of like more natural, like because I've spread it out so much, like the brush isn't really gonna do a whole lot and unless like I really wanna get into the corners cause I feel like beauty blenders can't really get into that corner unless it's kind of like, you know, one of those mini ones. But 
as you can see it definitely fits into the corner but i feel like the brush is unnecessary but if you really want to it actually is nice i feel like this brush would be amazing for nose contouring because of the shape but i don't know i feel like let me just go in with a blender my blender isn't wet but oh well so i'm gonna go with a blender now and you're gonna see just how beautiful this concealer blends out honestly I'm not, I feel like it might replace my Too Faced concealer, you know. Have you guys tried this concealer? Like, have you gone into a store? I know it's available at Sephora, Southridges here in the UK. And I think that's it, you know. I don't think she's stocked anywhere else that I know of, but I can imagine her to be going into Harrods or something crazy like that because she's so luxe, but I know she's exclusive to Southridges. So if you can see, you can see that's just kind of brined it up, but it is drying. I can see it drying on my skin, but... It says what it is, it's a matte but radiant concealer because it doesn't look overly drying, but, whoops, got some on my eye. But um, it just says what it does in the description and I really like it. So, what do you guys think? I'm just gonna blend with the other eye because I know that's gonna dry as well. Using a blender again. This blender is a bit dry, I should have made it wet, but my lazy ass forgot. What do you guys think of the background? I know you guys said you like this or you like the white one. I just couldn't be asked to put a backdrop up today because it was just a bit long but um guys it's march soon like what the hell well it's gonna be march tomorrow so um it's march today march tomorrow so um who's excited spring's coming i just can't wait for it to get warmer there's so many places i want to go i've been telling myself for years that obviously i want to go to like atlanta um i want to go to washington dc i want to go back to new york but i definitely want to go to atlanta this year because I've just been talking about it for ages and I feel like it's just one of those places I just want to experience. I want to go to Old Lady Gang, you know, by if you, any of you guys watch um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, which I need to watch, by the way, I haven't watched one episode this season. Um, You guys know her restaurant looks so good, but I'm sure someone got shot there or something or killed there recently, so I'm not sure about that, but I definitely want to go to Atlanta. So if you guys have anywhere to actually visit in the states let me know i really want to go to florida again but every time i look in the shade room florida just, just seems to always be having a madness like do you know what i mean what do you guys think so you can see it looks super nice obviously it's a bit bright so once i contour and stuff it'll obviously give me a bit of life but this concealer is just so nice like i haven't even used the correct hand i feel like it looks so good what i'm gonna do i'm gonna contour my face i'm not gonna set the concealer i'm gonna show you guys what the powder looks like once i set it with um using a blend okay so i've literally contoured my face because i feel like sometimes when you put a lighter concealer on it can make your face just look very one-dimensional and we ain't trying to look like that in 2020 um i'm trying to think which powder to use so i've used both of them it's kind of weird because I thought I'd just wear this concealer just, just to let you guys know the true tea. If you are deep skin toned, I'll definitely try and say get deep because I've used medium and you can actually tell in pictures a bit you've got it on because I've used, I wore it, when did I wear it? I wore it the other night and I took a picture. And there wasn't flashback, but you could tell I had it on. So I'd probably go for deep, especially if you're deeper skin toned. I do feel like if you are deeper, I'm not sure how this would look. Imagine if you're like Nima Tangs or like an NW60, I'm not sure how this would look under the eye, I'm not sure if colour would actually come through, because on the arm, you can see it on the arm, but when on the eye, it doesn't actually show, so what I'm going to do, I've actually went and wet, wet my beauty blender, I'm going to dip my beauty blender into it, because you can use a brush, but I just actually like using a sponge, so I'm actually going to take deep, and then just press it under the eye, like that, a mirror in here as well which is kind of handy i'm just gonna look up and press and i feel like can you guys tell a difference like just look it's kind of like i'm not sure what it does but this powder is amazing it kind of blurs the under eye but i don't know it kind of reminds me of the kat von d powder which i used to love but it had so much flashback that i looked crazy in pictures but it kind of gives that effect i don't know what it does but it say it does it's um it's a blind blurring it blurs i don't know what it it just it's like magic i just love it like obviously i wish it was a bit more yellow but it's more on the kind of you know beige -y kind of side but you could definitely go in with more of a yellow powder than put this on top because it's pressed but 
I feel like I kind of like a pressed powder because it's not as messy, but it's definitely giving me more of like a natural under highlight vibes, even though I use that natural concealer. Um, I might use um, medium on the other eye for you, just so you can tell. Let me show you the color difference. So these retail are 25 pounds. You can tell medium's a bit more lighter. So I'm gonna use that beauty blender again, dip that into there and put this on the eye. Just for the girls that want an extreme bright under eye, just so you can see. I'm gonna pat that on. You guys see the difference? So this eye here, you can tell is definitely much brighter, but it doesn't look crazy. It's just, you can tell it's brighter. Um, by the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a clip of when I wore it all night. I had it on for about maybe seven hours and um, it actually looked really, really nice. I, I was getting a bit oily, not around the concealer side, but um, on my face, but I'll show you at the end of the video how it looked when I wore it all night. But um, this side actually really nice. I actually like this side because it makes me look more awake, but obviously you could wear either, but for a deeper skin tone person, definitely get the deep just so you're safe, just because sometimes the powder, no, the powders are expensive, so I wouldn't want you to waste your money, or you could get both if you can afford it, but. This powder is just so, so nice. I'm gonna use some on the forehead as well. It's really, really pretty. I'll definitely say get the concealer. The powder's not a must, but the powder is good. I'm not gonna lie, the powder is good. Blairs, hides, conceals, snatches. It's just really, really nice. Like, what do you guys think? Can you tell the difference? So, so nice. So hey guys, I literally just kind of finished off the look and then someone called me in between. So it's kind of been like maybe an hour. Um, I threw on like a gloss and I threw on some highlight. By the way, I know going off topic, people haven't been speaking about, it's called Too Faced Turn Up The Light, this multi purpose palette it's so beautiful like i've been wearing both highlights i've got like a glow and then like a dazzle topper and it's so pretty i love it and i just love the compact it's very travel friendly but anywho um the concealer has been on for a moment it's really really nice i'm going to give you guys my final verdict for what i think the concealer is super beautiful it's definitely in my top five concealers at the moment i love the finish i love the way it wears um i definitely want to try a more darker shade to contour but i actually love the formula i think um if her if she was to bring out a foundation in kind of the same formula but more of that kind of like matte kind of soft focus finish i feel like i would like the foundation just as much obviously i love her original foundation but i feel like um I, I, it's better to be mixed with things more than by itself for me because i like kind of more of a full coverage snatch kind of bitch kind of feel but um i love the concealer i think it's amazing i've been wearing it for the past three days i'm gonna set in video here just when i was out i actually had this on for six hours and it wore so well i was actually amazing and I'll insert a photograph and how it photographed. There was no flashback whatsoever in the pictures. Like it's amazing and so insane. Um, with, with regards to the brush, the brush isn't a necessity. It's obviously 25 pounds and obviously I'm not sure how much it is in dollars, but um, I feel like this would be amazing for nose contouring. Amazing for just getting right in the corner of that kind of inner eye. But I feel like with concealers, you could definitely use it with a beauty blender. And this is just kind of like, if you are a Pat McGrath fan or if you love her brushes, definitely get it. The powder, oh, oh my God. The powder is okay. And um, with the powders, I love them. I love the packaging. Um, I do like a loose powder, not a loose powder, a compact press powder. I feel like it looks really, really nice. It's still giving me that brightness, but without looking too mad. And I feel like press powders kind of like layer better on the skin. Cause sometimes loose powders can do that thing where they bunch up and look super, super crazy. But these powders are amazing. I feel like, the combination of the concealer and the powder just go together so well. I love that kind of blurring effect and I feel like it looks really, really nice on the skin. It photographs beautifully. And I'll definitely say get the concealer and powder together if you can. If you are deeper skin tone, get deep because medium may be a bit light on you. And um, if you are a bit darker, definitely go into store to swatch it on your hands. The concealer is bomb. It's so, so good. I've been wearing it for the past few days and I just love it. Um, I'll continue to wear it and give you guys updates. And um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me guys know in the comments if you tried the concealer down below. I love it. Look in the monitor now. It looks so beautiful. Obviously, you guys are going to be like, which one do you prefer, the Beauty Blender or the Pat McGrath? Both concealers are very, very different. But if I have to choose one, I'll choose the Pat McGrath just because I love the consistency and I feel like the colours make a lot more... Not 
not the look, they don't make a lot more sense. I just feel like I love the, the tones of this concealer more and the one, the, the one that's so good. So definitely check it out. Let me guys know what you think. I shall see you in my next video. If you guys have any review requests that you want me to do, let me know as well. Have a good week guys and have a good start to March. Hey, spring is here. Hey, see you in the next one guys. Bye.